Now to cricket and England started well in the final test match against Pakistan but at the close of play the teams are evenly poised after a day dominated by the bowlers. England had a good morning bowling out Pakistan for just 99 but then Andrew Strauss's batsmen weren't able to continue the good performance. A short while ago they were 104 for six. Now let's look at the snowy weather ahead. Louise Lear is here to tell us all. Mm, Sophie, it's looking pretty interesting as well as we move towards the weekend. I suspect the winter weather continues. We will see a period of snow Saturday night into Sunday. Possibility of some disruption. More on that in just a moment. But for the rest of the afternoon, it's a beautiful afternoon. Some lovely winter sunshine continues for many. We've lost that uh, biting yeah, wind across the south. And so here, temperatures, despite only around two to three degrees is the maximum, will probably feel just that little bit better. But it's another cold, but predominantly dry and sunny afternoon. Temperatures will drop like a stone once darkness falls. There's a potential for a few snow showers across the extreme southeast. Another widespread cold, frosty night to follow. More cloud and rain up into the far northwest. So here, temperatures holding up. But this frontal system will be the one that could cause us some problems. Some icy stretches likely across western Scotland, Wales and the southwest for a time. First thing on Saturday morning. Snow to chiefly higher ground across Scotland, but maybe even at lower levels for a time and yes there's a potential for some snow to fall across the northwest of England and into the West Midlands during the middle of the afternoon. A cold afternoon, only zero degrees at a maximum, a lot of cloud generally across the East Midlands. We might get some glimpses of sunshine if we're lucky across East Anglia and the southeast but again a bitterly cold winter's day. More cloud and rain into the southwest here, not quite as cold, around five, six degrees maybe for Cornwall across into Devon. And despite a period of snow for a time through Wales, I suspect as the afternoon continues, it will turn to wet sleet and rain by the end of the day. Rain for the Isle of Man and into Northern Ireland. Look at the difference in the temperatures, eight degrees for Belfast here. Maybe even some glimpses, glimpses of brightness a little later on. And the sa same story for the far northwest of Scotland. But the real significant talking point will be what happens to this front as it continues to travel further east. There's a potential for some disruptive snowfall across eastern England. The Met Office has just issued an amber warning as much as five to ten centimetres of snow is likely and so yes that could cause some travel disruptions first thing on a Sunday morning. Stay tuned to the BBC local radio forecast for further updates. That frontal system may well linger as well across East Anglia and the southeast for a time on Sunday. A ridge of high pressure takes over quietening things down and again a little milder but wetter further west with seven or eight degrees so through central and eastern air is another bitterly cold Sunday in Prospect. That's how it's looking. If you want further updates, well, I will be with you live on the News Channel all afternoon, or by all means, just log on to the BBC Weather website. Sophie. Please, thank you very much. Now, a reminder of our top story. The Energy Secretary, Chris Hewn, has resigned from the Cabinet as he faces charges of perverting the course of justice. It's alleged he persuaded his ex-wife to accept penalty points for speeding on his behalf in 2003. There'll be more on that story throughout the afternoon over on the BBC News Channel. But that's all from us now on BBC One. It's time to join the BBC's news teams where you are. Have a very good weekend. Bye-bye.